Hi, this is me. I'm back to explore with you a question. I've just posted this on my blog. And the question is, who wrote the Haggadah? Now, they say that the Seder is the most widely observed Jewish ritual. Assuming that is true, the Haggadah then is a nearly universally used Jewish book. It's also one of the most frequently published Jewish books in history, surpassed perhaps only by the Hebrew Bible and the Siddur and Machzer prayer books. So now it behooves me, behooves us, to ask, who wrote this Haggadah? Over the past five or so years, I can attest that many prominent rabbis have written or edited and published Haggadahs. On my blog, I have posts reviewing and noting and supporting this assertion. And so five years ago, not to be left behind, I set out to publish a Haggadah of my own. More specifically, I started to republish my favorite classic out-of-print Haggadah, the Polychrome Historical Haggadah. But life intervened, and so I stopped short of publishing the book, even after having done significant work on preparing for that goal. Fast forward to 2017. Actually, the intervening years were full of many kinds of events, happy and sad, and activities, many happy activities, and I did not go on to actually publish that book. But now in 2017, I found myself with a window of time and opportunity. And I said, let's do this. Let's push that book out to print. And so I did release the Polychrome Historical Haggadah in a new edition. And I have published yet another Haggadah. Oh my. But that's not the answer to the question, who wrote the Haggadah? Is it? A Bible scholar friend of mine quite a few years ago wrote a book, very popular book, Who Wrote the Bible? Richard Friedman wrote that book. That question is a fine inquiry for academic scholars, but it is a heretical question for a rabbi because we assert that Moses inspired by God, wrote the whole Bible. Scholars, on the other hand, posit that the work is a composite historical document written by many people over numerous epochs. So much for the Bible. But what is the answer to the question of the season? Who wrote the Haggadah? It is correct and sanctioned to say historically, literary, critically, and theologically that many people over many epochs wrote parts of the Haggadah. So you may say to me, okay, show me how that works. Explain to me who wrote the various composite texts and when did they write them. And concisely, that's what the Polychrome Historical Haggadah sets out to do. If you look at it, you can see the colors will explicate the answer to the question. It's a brilliant way to do that. Different colors for different authors, different epochs. Color coding the layers of the text from the biblical, 
the Rabbinic Mishnaic, the Rabbinic Talmudic, the Gaonic, the Medieval, the Modern, and the Contemporary periods. Each has its own color, and providing critical notes to show the sources of the distinctive literary strata of the work. So here is the answer to who wrote it. The Haggadah evolved organically over millennia. It's the output of many authors, mostly anonymous, assembled by many editors, and used throughout history by nearly all Jews every year. And a colorful way to see the strands of that composition is to use the polychrome historical Haggadah at your Seder. Please do that and have a wonderful, 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 happy Passover. Thanks so much.